So I woke up at 5.30 this morning and I was really, really excited because I've been having this idea of a charity of wanting to help children and give more love and spend more time with them and just everything that's been going on. And I talked to you guys about this in the previous vlog. So it's really cool because like this really is, it's not even a comeback. It's like an evolution of my life. And it's really cool that I've been able to keep it up. So anyways, we are picking up clothes from Sophia. So she owns Nevea Dolls Boutique. It's like a personal shopping experience. It's really cool. And actually they're going online right now. So I have a really great partnership with her. So she has beautiful clothes. And so we're gonna go grab them right now so we can take some photos of them. And uh, yes, it's gonna be so much fun. Today is Mandy's birthday. So this shoot was for the 16 week comeback, but also for her birthday because she's special. Hi everyone, so I just left the Skin Girls and I saw Dr. Guy and I told him how much of an impact he's made in my life, just telling me the story about how does a child spell love, T-I-M-E, time, and just all the action I've taken from that and this charity that I'm creating and so it's making me so excited because when I told him all about it, he actually started to cry and it was the cutest thing ever and you could just say thank you and I'm like thank you and it's just crazy how one person can start this ripple effect and you know, this comeback has turned into so much more than just like a physical thing. Like you guys are watching just life evolve in front of your eyes and I'm watching it evolve and I'm recording it. It's like the coolest thing ever to see. But I, you know what? I'm, I'm making it a mission. Like I'm going to show you that you can live such an abundant life if you solely focus on spreading good vibes. That's what I'm dedicating my life, my life to, is spreading good vibes. Making sure to come into every single interaction I have with the purpose of making it making whomever comes into it feeling better than they were when we entered to literally spread good vibes and be a good person be a good human this is our transformation client uh well we okay so for the 16 week comeback i brought a whole bunch of people along with me right so lane who was actually our officiant at our wedding he married us he got started let me see what's on my story down here look at that can you see here and here and you should have seen what he wrote. It was like the nicest thing. I know you won't be able to see it on there, but it's the nicest thing that he wrote. I'm just so proud of him. I just got off the phone with the Mamas for Mamas organization and who's my best friend. We just stopped over here somewhere by the harbor and they're such a great organization. Literally from moms being able to, to ask if they have a stroller to moms in crisis that come from BC Women's Hospital and if they need to be set up to paying rent, tires, different nutri nutrient dense foods, if a child needs a birthday present. They're such an incredible organization. I just can't believe I didn't know about it sooner and I'm even more fire to, to get to do this, to create a change, to make an impact. We can make an impact, you guys. One, one person can make a difference. I'm gonna bring everyone together, mark my words right now. This is gonna be such an event of the entire summer of 2021, and I'm just dedicated, dedicating myself to watching it grow, watching it expand, and seeing how much of a change we can create. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, champagne birthday, woo! I'm so glad you're not driving so we can get you motherfucking luggage. The only way to get over a hangover is to get under a new one. You're fucked. Normal gets you nowhere, bitch. Cheers. Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday work. It's Friday then, it's Saturday, Sunday work. Except that it's Monday today. Hey fam, it is 1 p.m on this Monday and when you work from home, I'm still in my boxers and my robe, but you know, just getting shit done. Wait, boxers? Just get Mikey's boxers. Just getting shit done, you know? So on Mondays, like do my check-ins, check in with my clients, check in with my leaders, um, and as well as uh, it is our biggest event of the year coming up on Friday, it's called Celebration. So right now I've just been going through, I wish I could show you my board here with all my names and all the things, but you know, confidentiality, all the things, whichever. I can't, but um, yeah, just working on inviting them, writing names down, solidifying plans, all of the things. And now I'm like, holy bananas, it's 1 p.m. I need to go do my workout right now because I just need to burn off some steam. I've got lots of energy and I'm super excited. It's gonna be a fabulous weekend. 
And do you have anything to say to the YouTube fam? Have a great day. Have a great day. Mom, do we have any healthy, uh, that healthy uh, granola? Yes, I'll get it for you. Love you. Bye. Peace. Peace. Okay, so your company is the good vibes one. Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So then you have a bunch of teammates, teammates or reps underneath you kind of thing. So we all help coach people. So we're a team of experts and entrepreneurs. So like I have the most amount of fitness professionals in the entire company on our team. Okay. So we're able to really like create amazing results and actually treat it like a transformation yeah, yeah. team. Cool. Um, so, but whether somebody actually wants a transformation or whether they just want like a couple of like healthy items, they want to swap out their greens powder for ours or whichever, right? So yep. we can help them do that. Just wrapping up day one of phase two, um, the whole new program, so it's a diet phase. And even though I could have stuck with the same workout plan because it wasn't like expired, I just switched it up for the group and because it's workout program that I did when I did the Arnold's and when I won the Arnold, so I know that it works. <laughs> and so people want a shred, they're getting a shred. So that was just a few of my exercises there. But if you want to see the rest, then you're gonna join the challenge at eight weeks, right? In four weeks, I'm opening it up again for eight week challengers, so. Let me know. Well, even someone switching their protein for ours. Um, it's not other companies' fault. It's just very expensive to do undenatured cold pressed. Yeah, it is. Yep. So when a, when a protein uh, is not, they have to heat it up to sanitize it and whichever, yep. which breaks the amino acid profile, yep. meaning their body can't even absorb all the nutrients that people are paying for, they think that they're receiving. But ours is undenatured cold press, meaning all the branching amino acids are fully intact, meaning your body can actually absorb 95 to 90% of all, all okay. of it in there. So even somebody who's like doing the exact same routine and just it's switches theirs for, for hours, their body's actually absorbing it. They're like, yeah. holy shit, I'm getting better results, etc." Hey you guys, it's Tuesday. I worked out earlier this morning. I had my vitamin shot, I had my superfood smoothie, I had my collagen elixir, got ready, and now I'm in the car with my baby girl back there. And we're now at the Mamas for Mamas organization. And um, I, I talked about it in my last vlog a little bit, but it's really cool because now you're seeing the evolution. So now we're gonna go in there and check it out and see what it's all about. And I will get Selena, that's whom I'm dealing with, um, to tell you more about their organization and what services they offer and why we've decided to align ourselves with this organization as our don donee, recipient. <laughs> as the recipient for our upcoming charity. Cannot wait to show you guys. Hi, Hello. Selena, you beautiful Hello. woman, you. Changing lives. Hello. <laughs> okay. Welcome to the mama's office. Woohoo! So when moms come through these doors, we are open Monday to Friday. Yeah. Uh, so basically from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., we have three clients a day. So basically moms come in, there's a sign-up computer here that's a basic intake forms for moms to fill out. And then moms can come in and access our free karma market. So that's what I'll show you. I love moms. that you called it the karma market. That's the <laughs> cutest thing. And then I'll take you over here. So basically for this wall here, you'll see um, it has all these amazing products wow. from candles to self-care items, um, to phenol you know, towels, to nutrients, vitamins, um, organic honey that's made from our own beehives we have local in Delta. Wow. Um, so basically for moms and families that come in, normally they just pick items out for themselves. Um, or not for themselves, for their children. So basically we want to make sure that they feel worthy and loved when they leave mm -hmm. our office so they can pick a candle or something for them, a journal, a piece of jewelry, something to up power and uh, make a mama feel worthy. I love that so much. Yeah. So in here is our mom and teen room. So moms have 45 minutes to shop in this room um, so they can access free clothing, nursing bras, shoes, um, basically anything and everything they may be needing. We do have a men's side as well. As you can see, we are going to stock up on our men's stuff. <laughs> but we do, we are open to all caregivers from grandparents to fathers to um, anybody that needs help with mamas. Mm -hmm. eh? um, and then I'll take you over here. So, so we wonderful. have our birthday party program. So our birthday party program is for families oh. that are unable to pay for a birthday present. So basically, 
You can access our services from um, a birthday present, a birthday cake, and decorations. And as well as if you get an invitation for a child and you are unable to afford, then you can access that. That's so that. cool. <laughs> wow, that's great. Yeah. You guys have thought of it all, hey? <laughs> wow. Um, and then we have, this is a small section, but we do have a free fridge, freezer, and then a back deep freeze. We, um, we have a partnership with Donnie Farms, a local farm wow. company, um, that brings us fresh milk, yogurt every week. And then wow. we have meat, and um, we have our vegetable fruit boxes that help fa support families and make sure they have <laughs> food. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's beautiful. Okay. And now that's just what we've been, we, we're one of the most successful teams. I'm number three in all of Canada for creating um, client success. That's either getting my, my people transformations or my teammates paid. I can't make money unless I make them money. Them money. Yeah. yeah. And that's like our, our compensation plan is the best in the industry. Our owner, um, Jim Coover, he for a living created compensation plans for network marketing companies. Okay. Then he retired as a billionaire. Then John Anderson, who's like the mil mineral man of the world, yeah. he's created thousands of formulations, but then when he would outsource them, they would chop it, screw it with all this kind of fillers yeah. and crap or whatever to make a margin. He wanted to have a sustainable product that kept its integrity. So he contacted the Coovers who were already in retirement and they, and they offered him, so Jim Coover has like a passion for vintage cars. Yeah. So they said, if you come over and just check our products, I'll let you pick any of my Harleys out of the garage. Wow. So Jim went over there and they loved all of it and started to create what is now Isogenics, but that Harley is actually in headquarters, like when you walk in wow. under this like waterfall thing, because that's like how this how this, how it all began, you know? That's so cool. Yeah, it was really cool. Um it's 8.30 in the morning on Thursday and I'm at the Abbotsford Airport. I'm just waiting for Courtney and Tannis to arrive. Tomorrow's our big event and I'm like so excited that I could puke. <laughs> There's just so much momentum right now and so many people are, are inspired and, and I j all of the conversations that I'm having, people are really proud of me right now and it's just consistent and it just makes me feel like I'm on the right track and I'm doing good things right now and I'm I don't know it just feels really good and it feels good that like why I'm excited is because there's so many people now that are quickly coming to us and to our team and it's because we have such a great reputation because we're, we actually care about people because we're actually impacting lives. So it just makes me so excited because I'm like, there's so many people's lives who are actually being impacted. Like you, you say, you know, you think that you have an influence or you want to have an influence, but like to have consistent conversations where they're all positive and, and it's all like people are helping each other. It's, I just feel like reborn. I don't know what it is. Just life is so good right now and I feel so grateful. I'm, I do apologize to all of you though about how garbage this vlog has been so far in regards to capturing moments, I feel. Um, but it's just a tr pure transparency. See, <laughs> transparency. It's been uh, just the week leading up to the event. So it's just been difficult for me to vlog. But I'm really excited to vlog the event. And Ella's about to wake up. So... I'm probably gonna go feed her. And that's it for this talking session. So I started the 16 week comeback. There's a few background stories to it, but like very scratch the surface is because I had my daughter. And so it was my 16 week postpartum comeback. But I feel like when people think of a comeback, automatically this negative connotation comes on of like, you don't need to come back from anything or snap back or like, um, you know, be a, love your body the way that it is, the season that it's in, all of the things. I love my body in every season. It's not to say that I didn't, but it's to say that I feel my, my most confident, my best self when I'm taking care of myself. And of course I was taking care of myself during my pregnancy, however, um, you know, like afterwards, like I like, I like looking good. I like feeling good. I like taking care of myself. So my comeback was more than just like a physical though. It was like a comeback of, um, my business, 
my personal life, get in alignment with my, you know, my spirituality, make sure it help my leaders, etc. It was really a level up in life and a dedication for 16 weeks of that. But you know, why does that, why, why am I even so gung ho on that? And maybe it's, I, if it comes from a negative space or place, however, um, with my son, when I had my son, cause I have a 10 year old son, right? So my daughter is five months old. My son is 10 years old. And I, after, when I was pregnant with my son, I was like really uneducated on fitness or nutrition, even moisturizing, like I had no idea what I was doing. So I gained over 65 plus pounds with my son and I was eating for two and I was just really, I was young, I got pregnant at 19, then I had my son when I was 20. And at the time, I was not in the best relationship, I wasn't in the best surroundings and so it was very toxic uh, and I felt, you know, oh you eat like a fucking pig, you're gonna turn so fat. And even though it was a joke, like it really just hit me hard at that time. So I thought that people would appreciate me more if I was skinny and wearing makeup, etc. So I started to really go heavy on my fitness, but turns out that I fell in love with it. And that's why I am so passionate about fitness is because it gave me my confidence to create my independence to where I am today. But now I'm in like such a loving marriage and um, you know, things are totally different. So I just really wanted to do this comeback because it's my favorite season of my life is after having a baby, like being able to get myself together and feel amazing, look amazing. And then this time I hadn't done it with um, Isogenics before. I just, and it took me forever to get my results. This time I feel like my results came super quick, but I wanted to actually bring a community with me because now I actually have my community. Right, so it wasn't just me doing the comeback, it's a whole bunch of group of people. We had like 87 people doing it. So why I did this comeback was to look and feel my best, gain my confidence back, level up my life, level up everybody else's life around me that wanted to do this. And now, it, this is really like kind of the grand finale of the 16 weeks, but for me it doesn't stop here, you know? <laughs> but. Um, yeah, now we're doing our photo shoot for it. I've got my girl's birthdays, business is bumping, my two top five income producers, ages 18 and 25. Got my bestie in the back right here, Tannis. Hey, babe! Hey. Coming all the way from Alberta. So, it's a great time to be alive. <laughs> it's the morning. Good morning. Good morning. Before the big event, oh my gosh! I need to take my adaptogen elixir for real. Mm. I'm gonna go do a taste test. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get the fix. <laughs> tonight and to think and just allow me to open your mind and to think about what does my actual ideal life look like? Like if I had all of the money in the world, all of the time in the world, I could do anything in this fucking world, what would I be doing? Because you can. So what is your plan to get there? Because I'm telling you right now, you got to figure it out. You have to invest in yourself. You have to figure out a way because all of you are one job away from being broke. And that's the truth. So figure it out. And I'm extending my olive branch to say I'm here to help all of you. <laughs> What advice would I have to someone who wants to start a 16 week comeback? Number one is you have to figure out why you wanna do it. Because 16 weeks is is a long time, right? That's four months. And even though we just think like, oh, it's, well in my mind, oh, it's just four months, time is gonna pass anyways, so I might as well try. A lot of people wanna get started and then they're really gung ho on it, but don't realize that it's gonna take four months of commitment. You're gonna be excited, and then it's gonna drop. And then you're gonna be excited and then it's gonna drop. And so people, I think, what they need to know is that your 16 week success is not gonna be linear. You're not, it's not just gonna be 16 weeks of freaking killing it the whole way through. Like, yes, 
but it's about how quickly can you pick yourself up and remind yourself of those goals. So my advice is number one, become super clear on why you wanna do this because it's not gonna be the easiest road, but it's gonna be your why that's gonna pull you through all those hardships. And then the second advice is just get started. Just do it. Put one foot in front of the other. Don't figure out, don't wait till it's perfect. Don't think you need to know everything. Don't wait till you have a meal prepped out and you know all perfect like this. Just commit and stick to your commitment. Just do the damn thing. And then hire me as your coach. <laughs>
it really just did that third party validation, that social proof that we can take a group of people for an extended period of time because we work in 30 day increments and sometimes there can be a negative stigma that like, oh, is this just a, you know, a 30 day diet or whichever, it's crazy. We're so used to eating junk food that the moment somebody eats healthy, you label it as dieting and in a negative way and that's not the way it should be. So it meant a lot because it really showed we can do long term sustainable changes, um, transformations, one. Then myself, proving to myself that I, you know, I still got what it takes, I can still do it, um, because a lot of women also feel like when you become a mom that you live for your child, which you absolutely do live for your child, but you don't need to lose yourself along the way. You know, a lot of women forget to take care of themselves, they, or they, you know, they don't feel like they feel guilty about taking care of themselves like so proof there that you know you can be a mom a new mom a young mom five month old mom and still do the dang thing and feel amazing look your best and now bringing it all together just showing you know having fun while doing it bringing my best friends along bringing my 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 closest people with me to just celebrate um so you know, bringing everybody together is now, now, now it's just the fun stuff, you know, it's like the social proof is there. You guys want it. We did it 16 weeks proving you, you know, I can do it too. lead by example. And, um, now just have all of the fun in the world. <laughs> now lived life looking and feeling my best I made a freaking comeback, you know, bam. <laughs> Happy anniversary, baby. I love you so much and my little princess down there. Woo! Oh. Woo! You know what? Honestly though, I'm gonna say that I feel like popping champagne is actually more stress than excitement. <laughs> <laughs> Happy anniversary. Our first anniversary. I did my comeback. Um through a very easy routine to follow. So it's a routine, it's the routine that actually got me very passionate about isogenics. So they have um, top graduates, scientists from Harvard, etc., scientifically formulated. They put things together in a system that you follow step by step. So it's very easy. So people don't need to follow like a very strict meal plan, whichever, right? So every morning woke up, had my warm lemon or lime water, a little bit of apple cider vinegar, a little bit of pink Himalayan salt, filled that with warm water, drank that before anything else. Acts a little bit of a liver detox. If, um, uh, keeps you hydrated after you've been sleeping, etc. Then I have a vitamin shot in the morning. So it's like, it's a liquid vitamins. It's like um, ashwagandha, maca, tribulus, ginseng, ginger, bacopa, etc. My vitamin shot. And then my first superfood shake of the day. So they're low glycemic index, help raise my body's pH level to 7.2. So we help make your body more alkaline state. Natural ingredients in there like kelp, chlorella, maytake, shiitake, mushroom, etc. Very nutrient rich. So I'd have two of those a day, two snacks a day and then my larger whole food meal in the evening with my family. And trust me, we still had like Taco Tuesday at the Sheffers and you know, a fun foodie Friday. We always eat something fun on that day. Um, making sure I'm drinking my three to four liters of water. Um, now as well as, you know, it's hard to have a, a young baby and get enough sleep, but tried my best to get sleep and move my body every single day. Um, whether it was through actual resistance training or just taking my daughter around for a walk, I was still moving my body every day. And what I really wanted to do, but I wasn't able to do because uh, I wanted to do a cleanse. So our system um, that I was following also includes one full day of intermittent fasting or a supported cleanse days. However, um, it's very, very powerful. It's scientifically backed and proven. It will actually take the toxins out of my fat cells into my bloodstream, out the urine. So I can't do that because I'm breastfeeding. So, so I'm saying this comeback isn't completely over because this is my 16 weeks. But now after I'm done breastfeeding, I'll be able to cleanse and like, I don't know, maybe we'll do a round two. <laughs> but that's how I did it. Just eating, eating on schedule, nutritious foods, still having fun because you got to decrease that stress or else you hold on to fat if you're stressed and um and then moving my body every day I'm trying to drink my water and get my sleep hey everyone long time no see we are in the final four that's 
right, the final four weeks left of this 16 week comeback challenge and I am down 30 pounds since we started 12 weeks ago. And we're so excited to kick off these last four weeks together. Let's shred those last pounds, you guys. Teamwork, success, nothing less. We're gonna have check-in calls, you name it. Have a wonderful day, you guys. We can't wait to see you kick this off on Monday. Woo! <laughs> success and nothing less. Have a great day, you guys. Arrivederci. The future for me looks like really Building this community is my utmost priority. I love leading people towards looking and feeling their best. So the future for me looks like building an amazing team that we already have, but helping develop more leaders through our culture. We're team good vibes. Everything happens for a reason. It's always in our best benefit if we allow it. Living and breathing the true lifestyle um, so the future for us, for me, we're just growing, baby. We're growing and expanding in this whole area. We'll build even a bigger, more badass team of transformation specialists, impacting the world, teaching them how to even market themselves. I really just want to be a leader here, to telling people, showing them they can do and be anything they want to be, whoever they want to be. They are enough and you know, whenever we, you want to work with me, you're seen, heard, unjudged. We accept you for who you are and where you want to go. Unlimited support and love. And I just want to bring that into every life I encounter with. I always teach my team, your one goal is to leave that person feeling better than when you first started interacting with them. That is our goal. Leave your mark everywhere you go and in the most positive way. People are going to remember how you made them feel. I just want to leave people feeling amazing everywhere I go and that's the future of, and who knows what that's gonna look like because Hakuna Matata baby too blessed to be stressed and we're just following the flow of life hey bless 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 <laughs>